constipation is a global childhood disease. I think uh, as far as the data which was generated over years has shown that initially it as a disease of the waste. In fact, initial data which came from the waste shows significantly high prevalence of constipation among children in the West. For example, uh, some studies from Greece have shown 15% of their children are suffering from constipation. Data recently generated in Netherlands shows up to two, two years of uh, children of two years, uh, up to 12% of them could have constipation. Uh, on the other hand, some of the data which are generated in Italy shows 0.7% uh, of their children are suffering from constipation. However, we really have to understand the depth of uh, this problem. Now, the, the wide diversity of the prevalence data are partly due to age group that have been studied and the definition that have been used. Certainly, the Rome 2 definition is somewhat restrictive. So, the epidemiological studies which have used Rome 2 criteria for their diagnosis purposes would have lower prevalence. Um, now, we have some more data from Brazil. Of course, the definitions are different, but uh, what they show is 20% of their children are suffering from constipation. Recently, uh, Asia has taken a bigger step to, to uh, study epidemiology of constipation in this part of the world. And these data are quite interesting. In fact, they have all used a well-established ROM criteria, either ROM2 or ROM3 criteria. These data is very interesting and they show the high incidence, roughly 25, 6, 30, nearly 30% of childhood uh, children are suffering from constipation in uh, part of uh, Hong Kong and Taiwan uh, are uh, forefront of this uh, high incidence. Now, the third world countries, so called less developed countries in Asia, like Sri Lanka, has shown the prevalence of 15.2% of constipation in their school children. And we can very clearly see the epidemiological epicenter is shifting from west to east. That's, a, that's where the majority of world population is. So, we are going to have a major problem of constipation in Asia in years to come. The risk factors are also very prevalent in Asia. Now, for example, certain some studies from Asia has shown a low fiber diet is a risk factor for constipation. And studies from Taiwan has very clearly identified uh, spreading fast food is a major risk factor for constipation. So we all know the fast food industry is thriving in our part of the world now. So we are expecting a major problem of constipation with these risk factors. The other risk factors that we have recently identified include a stressful life event, either they are from school related or family related stressful life events are very significantly associated with uh, childhood constipation. Finally, I would like to point out our, some of our recent studies have identified child maltreatment including physical abuse, sexual abuse and emotional abuse are clearly associated with constipation. So these problems are quite clearly existing in every community of this world. Therefore, I think in years to come, constipation will be a global childhood problems like other childhood, global childhood problems like pneumonia, malnutrition and diarrhea.